beautiful Sonoma, California morning. Nice overcast, great looking 1958 Ford Ranchero. It's resting on about a 10 year old restoration, a very much a stock style restoration. We'll spend some time under the hood with you. We'll have a lot of details at spudsgarage.com. My first indication is to tell you black, it's hard to do right, and somebody did this car bright. Uh, I believe the initial restoration of this Ranchero, they spent about six figures on it, just over 100 k uh, We're going to walk around and kind of share with you what we see and so on and so forth. Has a, uh, a police interceptor big block underneath the hood, a factory style. We're going to get clarify that information more at spudsgarage.com as soon as we grab the file. Has a three-speed transmission with overdrive, stock style. Ford 9-inch rear differential, but the body panels on this are just beautiful. Somebody spent a lot of time in this old Ranchero. It's got great eyeball. It's the kind of rig you want to maybe head down to the hardware store on Saturday with. Anyway, the fit of the trim and the stainless is beautiful on it. You know, you're going to find a little bit of patina and age flaws here and there, but that's what gives this one character because it isn't so perfect. It's very nice to say that, but... You know, it's always nice to have just a little bit of age and patina so you kind of get a feel uh, like you can use it and enjoy it. Uh, cooling, it doesn't have any overheat issues. It has factory power steering on it. The black paint's gorgeous. There's a little bit of light shrinkage. You could find a couple little shrinkage spots on the roof, but really nothing to even talk about. Just me being my typical picky. Um, but I would tell you, you'd be hard pressed to find a Ranchero this nice. The current owner spent some money on it. He purchased it from a charity where the gentleman had donated it that had done the full restoration. He does have a file that we're going to review on it. We'll be able to tell you more. The chrome's nice. The grill's beautiful on it. You got to like the look of the front of these 58s because they have a lot of dress. Um, great looking car. V8 stick, three speed overdrive. That's where that comes from. A little bit of patina and age on that chrome right there and a couple little thin spots, but man, oh man, oh man. I get a little quiet while I'm looking sometimes because I'm studying it just like you are and I slow down enough for you to take a peek at it. You can see how straight it is down the body line. I know you got a kind of good look for the car. I keep calling it a car. It's a Ranchero. You has uh, bias play uh, uh, white walls on it, silver town radials, BF Goodrich style, factory antenna on it. We're going to walk around and we'll get inside and talk about it, but it's very much a stock style restoration. The trim, you got to love the inserts here, the gold stainless that they put back in the day, but you can see my reflections in the body of this car. It is nice. We're going to open up the passenger side here and kind of give you a feel. Factory reproduction interior that the owner went through and did himself because he wanted to kind of update it and just freshen it up a little bit. It's very nice with seat belts, so on and so forth. Nice carpet. Uh, it does have a factory AM radio that's working, correct? Yep. Three on the tree. He did put a new headliner in it at the time also. Also has a factory spare back here. Door jam to door jam. Obviously the door latches and all the hardware has been CAD plated like it's supposed to be. Boom. Doors shut very nice. Going to give you a view of the roof there. We talked about it over the driver's side. You can see one little shrinkage spot right there. And again, you know, I'm just being picky, which is ridiculous sometimes. We just like people to know that it's got a little bit of character and it's not a big deal. Step back and let you take a look at this here. This angle and view. Boy, it couldn't get any better this morning. The, the overcast sky gives us a chance to really take a good look at the body. Black's hard to do. Light like this is perfect. I know I'm rambling on like I usually do, otherwise it'd be really boring for you. Anyway, a little bit of shrinkage back here as the body line flows back on both sides. And if I didn't point this out, you probably wouldn't even 
notice it and the average observer is not going to even notice it. We're going to lift the tailgate down here. I remember I'm doing this one-handed. Show you the bed on it. Somebody spent a lot of time on this old Ranchero. You can see the bed cap trim is very nice around the back window. All the bright work on these things are just amazing. Um, hasn't been used to haul anything. Yeah, it might have a little scuff on it. That's what you're going to use it for. It's a perfect excuse to get a classic rig for yourself. All the CAD plating on the tailgate latches, so on and so forth. So somebody spent a lot of time on it. That's the point. I was able to shut that tailgate one-handed myself. Bright works very nice. A little bit of thin chrome right here, but no big deal. A little tiny thin spot right there. People watch me go around these things. Go, what is he talking about? Anyway, great looking Ranchero. Great character. We're going to walk up. We're going to kind of give you a feel inside it here too. Um, fuel doors where it's supposed to be. It's really nice to see one that's not modified. I can't tell you that. I mean, a lot of people over modify their rigs and create some kind of custom that they love and enjoy, but also it's really nice to, uh, to see a stock piece like this. Black with red on white interior. Data trim tag here. We will decode that at Spud's Garage when we get there, which has the VIN number on it. There's the pedals. Nice wiring underneath the dash. Stock style. Factory style heater. Black seat belts. Yes, it has a floor jack in it. Got down in there. Dash is painted very nice. Somebody labor love restoring this one. We're gonna fire it up here and kind of give you a feel. Pull the e-brake on. Hear that old gear reduction starter starting? That's just super neat. I don't know if you noticed when I first fired it here, the idiot lights worked like they were supposed to, the oil and generator light. They came on, they went off. That's because the oil pressure came up to speed. Fuel gauge is working at about three quarters of a tank. Show you the wipers work like they're supposed to do. Everybody always asks me. They're all vacuum. Gotta dig the feel of this one. Usually takes a second for these to warm up. Ashtray doesn't look like anybody spoke in it. I think I'm not getting a station here. There it is. Hey! Anyway, we don't want to play that too long. YouTube will say we copyrighted somebody. Anyway, thanks for coming to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video. We'll right, definitely have a look more underneath for you. the hood. Very nicely done. Nicely detailed throughout. So you can tell somebody spent a lot of time on this car. They used a lot of car or truck or ute. A lot of OEM style wiring, so on and so forth. You can see all the factory Ford style connectors there. It's a power st steering equipped Ranchero, which is very nice because that converting that on these cars is not easy to do. Anybody that's tried to do it knows. Believed to be a 352 police interceptor motor. We're going to have more specs at spudsgarage.com. We're going to get back and we're going to cover the folder on the car and uh, cover all the items that we figure we can uh, dig up for you and, and have a little bit more detail there. We do know that the intake's a COAE, which is a 60. Um, has a two-barrel motorcraft carburetor on it. The current owner has went through the entire radiator on it. Runs cool as a cucumber. Six-blade six aluminum fan on it. Factory-style ignition. So a good little fuel sipper with a two-barrel motorcraft carb. They just run great. 
just kind of get quiet there and let you have a better look as we move along here. And we'll walk around over to the other side of the car. We've done very much stock style. Um, clean, tidy. The current owner spent probably, oh, seven to ten grand on it, just making sure it was just right after he purchased it. Um, there's the starter solenoid right there. Factory exhaust manifolds. It has a nice custom dual exhaust on it. It has a three-speed transmission with the... Uh, and I'm probably repeating myself right now because I've already covered on some other areas, but you know I do that. Uh, three-speed with overdrive and a Ford 9-inch rear differential, but we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on for more. We'll fire this girl up and uh, have plenty right, more. The owner's going to fire it up here like I promised. You gotta love the sound of those early starters and these things. It just runs like a Swiss watch. Takes it down to the hardware store now and then just for a little piece. We'll walk back and let you hear it run. Beautiful. A little bit of condensation out of the pipes. It's 50 some degrees here in Sonoma. So there's some moisture in the air and we have wonderful overcast. Anyway, right, hang let's on take a look at the undercarriage. Very nice. We're going to share with you. Somebody spent a lot of time on the undercarriage of this car. It's just awesome. Very much a stock style restoration, factory suspension, factory braking, but very nicely detailed. It is a factory power steering Ranchero. We get back to the back here in the floor pans. I'll spend a little time with you to show how nice it was done. These are uh, bias ply uh, uh, BF Goodrich Silvertown radials, wide whites. There's the power steering ram, so on and so forth. You can see all the body mounts and everything have been addressed in it and the frame's been refinished. Exhaust system right there. See the floor pans here are just as nice as the top of the car, at least so to speak. They're black and they have a nice satin or black finish to them. Dual exhaust on it. Leaf springs all have the, the fiber insulators or the cloth insulators in between the leaves. Uh, again, somebody spent a lot of time making sure that they got this little tidy and right. The rockers are beautiful right there. It's like a factory style Ford nine inch rear differential with gas shocks and factory leaf springs. Spend time underneath. It's hard to get clean, solid rancheros like this. This baby is just... Somebody spent a lot of time on it. Said that a few times. As you know, we love what we do. We're getting into the end of the video here. The owner's been patient with me getting this one done. Beautiful day in Sonoma, California. Pardon my lens cap there. Again, I want to give you a good feel of the floor pans on it. There's the exhaust, the muffler on the other side, rockers. Show you midship here, floor pans again. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. You're at the end of the video. You definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube. Have a great day.